Hmm. You know, I just marked the center. Don't need to to have the measurements. Yeah, man. Hmm. So, how long did it take you to make that piece? This piece started in 2017, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Until I completed today. Wow. <laughs> yeah. From 2017, you've been working on this piece. Wow! Wow! So there were many stages that it went. Okay. Yeah. Now it's coming back to the workshop. It's been <laughs> in the market. Okay. But sometimes you realize there's more addition that you can also energy that you can also add on the piece. On the piece. So, is coming for a real bump now is fire. So you had to put some energy, some va -va boom energy. The piece will never be finished. Wow. So this is all your work from the start until the end. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is so interesting. What we do in the form of the natural shell mm -hmm. of the wood. Wow. That tells you what it is. <coughs> mm. Because now I'm talking about the bubble tree. Wow. Look okay. That. This is the, the, the African big tree, the, the ASEAN tree. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the Bushman says this tree was there in the beginning. In the big, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go <laughs> deep. It was there in the beginning. Yeah, wow. So, so does it like grow like very too long? So you find it up up in the northern side, like uh, in Limpopo, mm. and um, up to Nyasaland. The tree is familiar there. You know, it it gives life actually in the community because we we use the, the fruits of these trees like to make the sour porridge. You can mm. also do like yogurt out of this tree you mix it with milk and then it becomes yogurt oh. so <clears throat> yeah so actually it gives shade to many people people gather under this tree you understand mm. this is like a gathering place wherever it is even during the summer time um, even you find like the livestock, they just like going for a hide for when they need to shed, the sun is burning, they mm. go for a hide under the bubble tree actually. So this is a very special tree that is, we'll find it and then they, they saw it and will pass again and still live and we doesn't know how long it have lived, you understand? Oh. So now I'm saying, the Babab have came back. There was a saying that I said some time ago that I say the Babab tree has fallen. So that was the meaning of the passing of my grandmother. Mm. So now since I found this Babab tree, now I'm saying the Babab tree has come back. Mm. And this Babab tree, I can say it's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Are you that <laughs> attached to it? Yes, I'm not much attached but this is the message that says the bubble tree has come now I find the mother and uh, maybe I'm going too deep <laughs> no it's fine it's fine it's fine you can yeah. open up you know because it's very interesting and it's very nice for people to know out there when we like where you I'm, get I'm, your inspiration I'm, yeah, my inspiration comes from the the life of every day that I live you understand every moment you understand yeah. it's a glory to me that I can create you understand yeah. so I don't want to lose any moment sometimes people ask me how are you Michael I, I tell them I, I'm happy and they thought like my name is happy but I'm not I'm <laughs> happy it's just because I'm happy <laughs> I love, I love heard you say I'm happy even me yeah. at first I used to be confused until mm. I got used to mm. to you they're like okay yeah just because I'm always happy every moment it's a choice for somebody to be happy and it's a choice to find happiness because happiness lies in the way of how you do your life 
what you spend your day doing and I find my happiness through creating art you understand something that I love doing that I can't be like uh, get out of it you understand wow. it's like an automatic to me every moment my eyes have been like a, a magnet so I sense with the eyes and then it goes directly into a heart you understand mm. so this is how I because the moment that I sight and I can't stop to to see uh, the end results because I've already projected the end result of something that I, I see within the roots or within the, the anything, any medium of material that I, I find art into it. Sometimes I, I capture them within the rocks, mm. I capture those uh, patterns within anything that comes into my eyes, you understand? Okay. So my inspiration is, is nature itself because it's, it's a good example. Wow, that's so that's so cool. That's so cool. So, like, for how long have you been doing this, Mr. Michael? From six years, imagine. Six as, years as now. Yeah. No, I'm oh. saying like from, oh. from six years old. Wow, from the age of six. Yeah, at the age of six, yeah. You've been doing all this. It started like as a child, naturally. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. Yeah, my man. Okay. It's a, it's a long journey. In the, it's, it's it's a true story. It's a lifetime. You understand for me that uh, um, life is about um, uh, finding your your heart. Yeah. Who you are and uh, your roots actually is the ground of who you are. And then uh, representing your your, your tradition living life of uh, <laughs> continuous <laughs> like taking the legacy to to another level from because, another. yeah i'm from a creative family actually wow that's we, so cool eh? yeah every one of us is a man of creation you know wow so i grew up seeing everyone like um capable of doing something with hands you understand mm. so it's what my grandfather always says like um, everything that you need is within you yeah and uh, he once said to me if you need gold look from where you are standing mm. and then but i didn't understand what you were saying you know yeah because so, uh, cool <laughs> when they're talking <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i didn't understand what you were saying when he said don't look far you understand no so look at the surrounding and find something that you can turn into a gold you understand yeah. whether turn your mind into a gold don't look for a real gold you understand mm, no. so now i decided to turn my mind into a gold rather than finding the real gold, gold. you understand yeah. you see i see so <laughs> well that's that's so amazing that's so <laughs> amazing so like um what can you tell the up and coming uh, artists like that have been inspired by you what can you tell them in order for 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 them to like pursue the, the yeah, dream career the thing, and the thing is about consciousness mm. the creative world that we, we want to bring forth you understand yeah. in the creative world wherever i believe every humankind is a creative person so it depends which channel are you you understand and we have no boundary for for our solutions you understand for whatever we can imagine as a problem, you understand? So I'm saying with these shapes, let's cross the boundaries of shapes, of limitations, you understand? Let's go above that, you understand? So um, there's always a solution to every problem that we have, you understand? Yeah, I love, I love that one. <laughs> I love that one, I really love that one. I actually came across the, the saying that goes like, don't be a problem to every solution rather yeah, be a yeah. solution to every so if problem. we all uh, motivate everyone to be creative and then you will find a happy uh, community and we create a good atmosphere you understand within us because whenever a person is consciousness you understand he values things that surrounding him everything is a material anything is an object that can be turned into something nothing dies you understand so I'm saying to the youth, take care of your environment wherever you are. It's your duty to love nature. Nature doesn't need you. We need nature because it's our good example. So the moment we discover that 
we staying in a clean environment, it means we are a better community. Let's not be ignorant. Yes, conserve, save what is available. Make something of something, you understand? Yeah. So this is what I do from nothing that you can make fire of it, but now I can turn it into something wet. Your gold. Yes, this is gold. <laughs> In Africans, they say wood is gold. So mm. now it's the time to change wood into gold. Wow, Mr. We Michael. are the ones that are capable of giving things value. Wow. What if we can give wood value like gold? Mm. You understand? Who gave the gold the value? Mm. Isn't it where the people that were there in the beginning? Yeah, exactly. And who are we to leave the legacy and change things into better of our moment for the generation to come? Because the gold is now not easy to find. Yeah. Where are you going to find the gold? You understand? But we have wood. Isn't it gold? It is. <laughs> it's gold. <laughs> Mr. Michael, thank you very much for joining.